Hello everyone, you are having a wonderful day or wonderful evening wherever you are. Today I'm reviewing this uh, CSS1 TDX DIY speaker kit with this uh, Powers and Wilkin 706 S2 bookshelf speakers. They are both two-way speakers with the uh, comparable specification that I would like to compare and share my experience with you. This CSS1 TDX kit is a uh, I built it myself from starting from crossover to cabinet to everything and even vinyl wrapping. It's just a very quick comparison review that I'm going to compare in-room frequency response from bass performance to mid-range and all that that I took the measurements in this room and then I will also have the back-to-back uh, -back sound demonstration of these two different speakers using this my system Dano BME SX11 with Sony HAP Z1 ES. Bowers and Wilkin 706S2 is retail for $2,000. The CSS 1TDX kit, if you upgrade everything like superior crossover with uh, flat pack uh, cabinets and all that without finishing option like vinyl wrapping or veneer wrapping option this one will comes out probably like around twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars range roughly like six seven hundred dollars cheaper than this 706 s2 So let's do the uh, quick comparison here. The CSS1 TDX kit is the, uh, one of the best DIY two-way bookshelf speaker kit that you can buy. This 706S2 is one of the best sounding $2,000 pair of bookshelf speakers that you can buy from major brand in the market today. I try them with a lot of different music. These speaker will totally show the uh, difference between the uh, sound signature and character and they have their way of reproducing the uh, sound delivering back to you from recorded music. So the CSS1 TDX will offer you more scale and deeper bass. Deeper bass like a mid-range tower speakers that it can go down to low 30s. This 706 S2 probably like high 30s as you will see here in my graph. So I have that a uh, back-to-back uh, in-room response measurements graph that I took and they are I measure them in a stereo and mono measurements just for your information as you can see it. Bowers and Wilkins 706S2 have a more extended highs and brilliance area compared to this CSS1 TDX, particularly as you can see as in the mono measurements. Stereo measurement, they balance out each other and they have like uh, CSS1 TDX have a nicely roll off highs. Bowers and Wilkins also roll off and nicely smoothen out compared to mono measurements. So high frequencies are really good on both. This Bowers and Wilkins 706 S2 a double dome uh, aluminum carbon coated tweeter is better than CSS uh, tweeter in my opinion because there is like a more airiness and better instrument separations. I really enjoy this uh, CSS1 TDX but technically this uh, Bowers and Wilkins tweeter is a little bit better tweeter compared to this CSS soft dome tweeter. Other than that, they are very much enjoyable experience. The 706 S2 will have a slightly brighter experience time to time, depending on what music you listen into. If you feed them with high quality, world recorded music, it will reward you with incredible soundscape and airiness and spacious sound with very nice instrument separation. CSS1 TDAs can do the same, but it will be a, li a little less airiness, and a little less space between the notes, but overall frequency response in high to upper mid-range area, that area 
Personally, I think CSS 1TDX is a little bit more refined and controlled and more engaging to listen. This one is a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more forward in the upper range of frequency. So human voices and vocals, CSS 1TDX can reproduce very good accurate sound reproduction but this 706 s2 have a slightly better presentation and sound reproductions of human voices and vocals that i really appreciate but this css1 tdx is not too far behind just right there just a little better on this 706 s2 when it's come to human voices upper bass to mid-range those area they both offer incredibly musical sound but the css1 tdx offers more cohesive or precise stereo image compared to this powers and wilkins wide and spacious sound stage with the uh, really nice attack compared to that css1 tdx offer more cohesive a uh, well-defined uh, great stereo image that I can totally enjoy listening to all my music. So comparing these two speakers back to back, switching my speaker cables, you know, using all the music that I have, and I really enjoy both of these speakers. In the end, the overall package, meaning like from a bottom response to high frequency all the way i slightly prefer this one tdx so when it's come to that uh, bass performance lower bass performance in particular the css1 tdx totally outperformed this 706 s2 is go lower deeper and richer scale and dynamics with the uh, deep sound that it can produce 706 s2 have a more pronounced upper bass region with a little bit more precise notes and definition a little bit more better definition compared to css1 tdx upper bass response you know listening these back to back so that's only come down to your personal preference if you're gonna use with the subwoofers the 706 s2 will be totally fine giving you countless hours of music enjoyment if you're gonna do a 2.0 system the css1 tdx will totally give you better performer and cheaper money that you will spend so for the overall package i prefer the CSS 1TDX sound signature and the way that it can reproduce the sound with the cohesive uh, sound stage with the uh, very good stereo image like some of those are uh, KEF LS50 matter or those speakers it has uh, that kind of a precise uh, cohesiveness in that sound reproduction this powers and workings have a have a very good stereo image as well but it has a wider and spacious sound if you really like deep and rich sound stage the css1 tdx will give you that 706 s2 have a deep sound stage but not as deep as the uh, css1 tdx and bass performance makes a really big difference CSS1 TTX is a little bit more forgiving when it's come to pairing components. The 706 S2 will totally show the quality of pairing components, and particularly amplifier that drives them, it will totally show the quality. So when it's come to sensitivity rating, the CSS1 TDX is less sensitive than 706 S2. For instance, this 706 S2 will get me around like 75 to 80 decibel at volume control knob at the nine o'clock position. But this, to get the same level of loudness, I have to go to, you know, quarter past nine o'clock position so like nine nine fifteen position to get the same level of loudness so most of my sound demonstration if if i'm comparing these speakers i use the uh, nady uh, analog meter so make sure i match the volume of these speakers for fair comparison sensitivity rating the css1 tdx is probably like three to four decibel lower than the 706 s2 but when it's come to pairing components css1 tdx 
DDX is more forgiving, particularly when I pair with the Class D amplification, like the little tiny amplifier that I tested. The C CSS TDX sound is more engaging and enjoyable to listen. 706S2 is more revealing, meaning, you know, less forgiving to pairing components than it will totally show the quality of the components, in particularly in noise floor. Background noise is more noticeable on 706S2. If you are shopping for a great sounding two-way bookshelf speaker, if you don't mind doing it yourself, I highly recommend this uh, CSS1 TDA's kit with the superior crossover which will give you countless hours of music enjoyment big plus is you can do it yourself and which i really enjoy doing it and best of all you can finish it the way you like it so if you don't want to do it yourself you just want to buy it and enjoy your music the 706 s2 is very good buy and just be careful with pairing components they are both great speakers. Personally, I think it's time for me to replace this 706S2 with the CSS1 TDA's kit. So when I listened to these two speakers, what I noticed right away was how open and spacious sound from 706S2, how deep and rich and cohesive soundstage from the CSS1 TDX. When it's come to a uh, drum rolls and kick drums and cymbal strikes, 706 has to provide a little bit pronounced and more definition and detailed sound reproduction. CSS 1TDAs can provide similar experience but less pronounced compared to this 706 S2, less space between the notes, which is not a bad thing. That's the sound signature different between these two speakers. So I just want to mention that so you can make your decision based on what you prefer. So I really like both of these speakers, but in long hour of music listening, I really enjoy the CSS1 TDX cohesive sound signature with the deep and rich sound stage that totally enjoyable to listen. If you really listen to a lot of rock music, I highly recommend you to go with this CSS1 TDX. If you have a small to mid-sized room, this one, probably you will get away without a subwoofer. So this CSS1 TDX can offer that. If you like wide and spacious soundstage with very well extended highs with area notes this 706s2 may be good choice for you overall frequency response you know the way that upper mid-range and mid-range to high frequency sound reproduction the css1 tdx is more refinement to it compared to the 706s2 the css1 tdx totally offer great price and performance and quality that you can have at this moment. So I'm going to keep this CSS1 TDX as the, uh, my two-way uh, bookshelf speaker in this price range next to my Quad S2. So this 706 S2 has to go. That is my quick comparison. I had a great time and great musical experience with this 706 S2. So that's it, my friend. That is my quick comparison of these two speakers. I will have the back-to-back uh, -back sound demonstration as well. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
things and I'll tell you what I know Give me a roadmap of your heart's direction and I'll tell you where I go Oh, I 
Just love to love.